Good day guys, being here. Um, today let's model a, a, a shape, a structure like these. Okay. So it will be a a, a mass and with some a pattern. So we can use pattern based family and also uh, adaptive family as well. Okay. So let's let's start. So um, actually um. I'm going to show you two different methods. So today I'm going to show you a pattern-based um, method, so which will be suitable for very uh, regular shape. So less organic shape, you will be able to use pattern-based family. Okay. So tomorrow uh, we will uh, try a different method. But so let's let's start. Um, so we're going to create a pattern based family. Okay. So <clears throat> first I'm going to just change uh, one of the grid so we can get a very narrow a long grid. So if actually I did a screenshot here. So if you look carefully, so it's we can just create so this so this is the pattern. Okay. So see, this is the pattern. So we can just create one, and then it will repeat all the way and create this shape. So um, okay. So let's start. So first, and because because this is, um, I guess the it's a little bit curved. I guess. It's a little bit curved. So what we're going to do is, so we're going to add a little bit curve into this pattern. So first, to add a uh, the curve, I'm going to just place uh, two points, draw on face and on to in the middle of this uh, reference line. Okay, and then I'll just place a point, draw on work plan, and set work plan, and pick the horizontal work plan and place it on the point. So I'll do the same, set work plan, work horizontal work plan, and place it on the point. So and then I'll just drag this up a little bit and select these two points. I'm going to just create a um a height, a height uh for them. Or maybe I'll call it offset. Okay. Instance uh instance or type, or maybe type. And OK, and OK. So now if I select 1, 2, 3, spline, we can sign 1, 2, 3, spline, and we can sign. So now this will be the, 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 sh the overall the curve of this shape. OK, so now let's continue. So now let's have a look at this pattern. So we need to find, so I'll just draw, uh, change the color, maybe. Blue. So see this point. So this is one point. We need to find one point on this reference line. Another one. Another one. And also here, here, and here. So we need to find these six points. So point, draw on, uh, draw on work. Uh, sorry, draw on face, draw on face, and then. Oh, uh, actually, we don't need. We already have these two. These two are here. So. So we need another four. So one, two, three, and four. So select this point. So this will be close to 0 0.7. Yep. So select these two and type in 0 0.75. Okay. And also these two type in 0 0.25. Okay. So now we have these six points. Okay. Uh, the next we need to find this one, this point, and this one and this one okay so this point so what I'm going to do is to find this one I'm going to find this this point and this point okay and once I found these two points I can create a, sp a reference line and pick the middle point so now this point so I will get this point from this one but on this reference line okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one 
and this one and create a spline and reference line repeat this one and this one spline reference line and then I'm going to place a point draw on face and I'll place it on this reference line and also on this reference line so now I'm going to uh, select these two change this to segment length and then create a, a, a parameter so I'll call it um, what do I call it offset one instance okay and okay so here I'm going to explain uh, to so offset one equals this distance right so from offset from this point to this point and also this one same here to here so what I'm going to do is um, because it looks like the distance this distance roughly equals this one okay and because we can't get uh, we can't you uh, create a reporting parameter from these two points and use them in formula we can only use reporting parameter on these four so in here so it, in these one two three four so which are adaptive points so what we are going to do is we are going to add a reporting parameter for uh, from these two so let's say this is w1 and also another one here let's say w2 okay and then we can just uh, roughly get an average of, of between w1 plus w2 so that will be a uh, close quite close to this this dimension which is uh, similar to this one so let's do it so dimension di oh sorry before we dimension before we add a reporting parameter always set work plan so set this work plan di pick the point and select this dimension create a reporting parameter so let's call it w1 and then repeat set work plan and di and dimension another one w2 instance reporting and ok so now we have w1 and w2 so we can go to family types w1 and w2 um, offset with, uh, so this is offset 1 equals the bracket w1 plus w2 bracket divided by 2 ok so apply so now we get this uh, these two points and then we can create a, a, a spline reference line and then place a point place in on the middle point so now this is it okay so this is this one let me change the color again so it's this one okay now we let's do that this one so same so first let's create spline and reference line another spline and reference line then place a point to on face and place on this reference line and select both of them and change this to segment length and create a new offset to instance ok and ok go to family types so this time i'm just going to control c control v apply and ok so now insert these two points spline reference line and place a point draw face and pl place it on the middle point so now we have this one so then the last one here okay so so the spline uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, no, I'm not crying. <laughs> Just still a little bit cold. Um, okay, so where am I? So point, draw face, place here, and another one here. And then select them, and uh, segment length, and create offset 3. But this time, the the, because so from this image you will see uh, the offset is not that uh, it's less uh, smaller than the previous one so we can go instead of uh, control V instead of 2 we can just type in 6 so something like that so it's a smaller offset 
Okay, so once again, spawn weapon sign and a point in the middle. Okay, so now we can start to connect all these points. Oops, wrong one. This one. So now we can connect all these. So these, 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 and then the middle point, middle point, connect, and connect, connect, connect. Okay, so now let's do it. So first, these two spline, reference line, and spline, reference line, and uh, where am I? Here, spline, reference line, spline, reference line. And this one, this one, spy, left reference line. This one to this one, spy, reference line. So let's have a look again. Go up here, so and then this go to the middle. So so now place point in a drawn a drawn face, middle and middle, and then this point go to this point. Spy reference line. This one to this one, spy reference line. And uh, let's have a look, look again. So go up, go up, go up. Yep. So this one go. Uh, so we need another two middle points. So and spline reference line. This one to this one. Spline reference line. This one to this. Oh, sorry. This one to this one. Spline reference line. And then in uh, here, so we can just place point middle one two. So that this one close to seven zero seven uh, point seven five, this one will be point uh, two five. Okay, so now select this one, this one spline reference sign and spline reference sign and this one. Oops, this one to this one spline reference sign. Okay, so now we have. Uh, let's have a look. Um, Go all the way here, up, up. I think it's that's that's it. That's the shape. That's the pattern. So the next step, we just need to create a uh, adaptive family. Uh, uh, where is the adaptive family here? So we're going to uh, create a adaptive family to as a a, a frame. So. So two points make adaptive spline and reference line on point uh, on the point reference circle draw a word plan set a word plan pick the vertical word plan and draw a, a, a circle. So maybe let's say um, 150. Okay, and so oh, actually I'm going to just add a parameter and call it uh, radius. So in case we need to change it, we can. Okay, so CC and and uh, pick new host. So now select select this point, make put it uh, a zero. So this one will be one. Okay, so select select now select this one and this one create form. So now we have this. Uh, Frame. So then load this into into this family, so we can place this. So first, so I'm going to use se so, uh, se snap endpoint, okay? And then se again tab. So basically just se se tab se se tab se se tab se. No, okay, let's try. Oh uh, hell. We need a reference plan for. Oh, maybe we don't. We don't need. Uh, let, let me just. I'll see if I can pick this point. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. Maybe it's easier to just create a, a reference plan. Oh, sorry, reference line. So one, two, three, four, five, spline reference line. Okay, let's continue to uh, place these. So I'm going to actually so to make it easier, I'll just H H this curved line, and also I'll H H these reference line, and also this grid. Okay, so the rest 
yeah let's 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 continue place this frame so se se tab se se tab se se tab and se se tab 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 S E S E 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 tab S oops we need to slow down okay don't to go too fast S E S E tab S E S S E tab S E S E tab last one S E S E tab okay so that's it. So this is uh, the pattern. So now we can create a let's create a mass and try um, try to place this pattern based family. And so go to um, let's go to elevation. Okay. So first I'm going to draw a reference line, which is a Arc. Maybe I'll make it quite small. Okay, two meter. I'll make it reference line. So go to floor plan. So I'm going to just CC with Shift key. So we can move them up, and then we can change the size. Let me change to maybe a, a, a twenty meter. Twenty. Okay, so now select these two shape and create a form. So now this is the you can see it's quite very um, uh, regular shape. Um, it's not organic. Okay, so let's create divided. Uh, let's use divided surface and uh, have a look at this shape again. So we only need so this will be one grid. So let's try I'll change this one to now no 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 not this one sorry uh, change it back to 10 and change this one to now yeah that's better so now we can just uh, load the pattern based here into uh, which one family 9 okay so load this to family 9 and then select this family and apply it to this mess okay so that's it okay and also um, you can tab tab select one of this uh, uh, pattern based family so because we create this offset which is the the curve we can change this to so far I'll change that to three meter. So you you will see we can increase the oops not the curve of this. So we don't we don't need to create a, a curved mass. Instead we can have a, a straight mass, but we can still have this pattern curved, right? Um, Okay, I think that's that's it for today. So this is uh, the first method um, for a very regular shape. But tomorrow we're going to do a little bit organic shape, so more close to the image we have here, and and um, for for that shape, this method will not be perfect. You will start. You will start to see the gap between these patterns. So tomorrow we are going to use uh, adaptive uh, family. Okay. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.